2000. Wished I had my other one with me. It's pretty close. I would, yeah, I have the old one with me. Let me look and see. Well, well, that's one you could move if it's a little money within there. Let me see what we've got so far this year. Okay. See, and that's what we don't have is an update. Um, she, yeah, I'd rather have it correct now. It's easier. We have 2,000, and since we're bumping it so much further, I would like to take that to 2,500. I would think that okay. would be a safe bet. So then go down to Social Security under wages. Yeah, 790862. That same page, 11. And add, take the 2,000 and add 2,500. Yeah, just to be on the safe side. So that would mean that we would add 5,500 right, to, to the, the 71. Right, to the over here. 71, 850. Yeah. We're going to add 5,500. We're adding 5,000 and 7,500? No, we're adding 5,500. So if I got it right, oh, that's 77,350. 77,360. No, you said 50. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I wrote it down wrong. <laughs> okay, 77,350. 77,350 for your total library fund expense then on your department budget. Right. So if you go to this page, you have this page? Page 12. Yeah, yeah right, page 12. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 And so now that will change the 206 492 then. Yeah, we'll do that in just a minute. Now you're going to go to page well, seven on your budget. 206. Mm -hmm. So now we want to go to page seven on the budget. On the 206. And let's hear about the firemen. And. We went to 38,000, and um, that's not going to be enough. I, I had to take, I had to scramble to pay the chief and the assistant chiefs. And what was the money? What's the current scramble? How much? Uh, I don't have that with me. I just did it. Um, I think I moved a little over three. Oh. From, from the previous areas. budget yeah, before. It, yeah, in other areas are where I could take it. So my feeling is because I had to do that now, and if we have a lot of first responding going on, but remember, which we will. What was our budget? We've already taken this 38 up. What was our right. budget? It was 35. It was 35. 35. Oh, so you're saying you still don't have enough. 3,000 she wants to raise it. Yeah, I'd like to take that to 40 at least. Five thousand. So you want to add two thousand? Yeah. Let me see. Where where are we? We're thirty-eight. So I'd like to take that to forty, mm -hmm. which would be two thousand there. And then the Social Security, you'd have to and add more to that. Just see. Yeah. Right now, I just ran this. We went to three. We'll be all right on Social Security. I'm pretty sure. So you just. And I have money in other areas that I can. I can transfer there if I need to. So you want to add two thousand. So that takes the wages. that yeah. takes the total expense to two one um, six. So that would be forty for fire and pay. So two one six on page eight. Two hundred and sixteen thousand two hundred. Okay. Okay, do we have a motion to increase the um, fireman expense to 216200 I'll make the motion to increase the first amendment. Okay. We didn't motion. The only thing yeah. we motioned on the other one was the increase in pay. We did not. 
Well, we I don't have to motion this one. We don't have to motion right. this one. No, because okay. we haven't accepted it yet. We're okay. still working on the budget. Okay. So if you add the two two thousand to the we mm -hmm. to the um, general appropriations act. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The total expenditures for one hundred and one. You've got to add. Just a minute. Uh, 206 fire fund expense, which is going to be 216,200 mm -hmm. mm -hmm. under expense. Yeah. Okay. okay. So you're going to add the 2,000 plus the um, 5,000, 5,500 5, and 2,000, 7,500 to the 49. To no, the it was 71850 originally, and now we're at 77. No, I know, but but for the um, total expense for 101, do we no, have to, we don't have to do anything with that? We didn't touch, we didn't touch it. it. No, You're right. Okay, general. awesome. That's okay, general. okay. Now let's go back to the um, General Appropriation Act and just identify the the two changes we made on the second page. We made the change to the fire fund expense going from 214,200 uh, to 216,200, and we changed the library expense from 71,850 to 77,350, and that's the only thing that's been changed um, on our appropriation. So I need a motion to accept the appropriation with those two changes. Okay, but don't we have to show the revised grand total? No, there's no there's no revision because those are though the grand total is for this the four seven nine is for these expenses and these are different funds. Okay. So they're all done separately. Okay. And this corrected version will be in the minutes. This yep. whole thing will be in the minutes. Okay. Okay. Uh, do you want us? I'll remake that motion then. Okay. <laughs> and Kathy, you want a second? Should I, I put a second? Okay. Beside <laughs> okay. <I'll> second. <laughs> and now let's have a roll call vote. John. Yes. Dennis? Yes. Mary. Yes. Okay, we're done with that. Now let's open it for general public comment. <laughs> yeah. Or Will we be talking about the lighting district tonight, or is that? Okay? Yes, that's no. that's on. Okay. So, yeah. um, then I, I'll start talking. Then. Um, I just want to make a point again. I said the same thing the other day when we had the last meeting. But since I've been on this earth, the same group of people have taken on the responsibility of paying the lighting district. And in that time, we've added more and more lights. And, and even with this new lighting district, it looks like the same group of people carry that burden. And I think if we're going to go and update this district, then I think we need to look for a, a fair way that everybody in this township pays their fair amount. And so, um, and especially since somebody last time brought up the idea that you need the lights for the ambulance and fire department, so it's a safety concern. It's not just a safety concern for the people that live within a half a mile of that light, it's a safety concern for everybody. There. So I still feel that everybody should be entitled or have their fair share paying that bill. Especially when you've got, I mean, there's a lot of lights that aren't even on 27 and you're using 27 as a corridor. Well, a lot of them lights are off on side roads that the only people that use them are the people that live on those streets. Yeah, like Long Point. You know, as far as I'm concerned, Long Point Association can pay for all those lights. Um, I don't use them. I don't even have property that even is on a road. I have landlocked property that I still pay for lighting. Um, so I'm still going to say that I feel everybody should pay their fair share. Okay, thanks. Any other comments from the public? No one else back there? Uh, I just want to comment on a couple things. 
I emailed him to do uh, this. Mike District, I don't know if you had a chance to open it. Did you? Kathy? This is actually uh, the pink bubbles are what Rachel presented at the Lake District hearing as the, as the proposed district. Uh, Sharon up at GIS drew in the purple lines, which are actually half a mile east and west of 27. Uh, the yellow lines are my interpretation of those properties that actually receive benefit from the street lights. Special assessments are narrowly defined within Michigan law as, as improvements that benefit property, not that benefit us as people, as a community. So I think Irv addressed an issue that if the lights are a benefit to everybody in the community, then it should just be coming out of the general revenue fund at 20,000 a year and maybe get a handle on adding more lights when, people, when you can see the consensus at the last meeting was that most people did not want more street lights. They wanted fewer or they wanted less distracting lights that lit up the sky. Uh, so anyways, this map here, I think accurately reflects those properties that actually receive benefit from the street lights. And that's, that's the way the law is interpreted on special assessments. Uh, honestly, I'd ask you to, to just table this, maybe wait till the summer uh, when we have more residents here, you might get more valid input from from our seasonal residents. Uh, I don't think it's anything that's pressing. You have two years of lighting funds in the kitty right now. I'm not sure why we're even paying millage on our tax bills right now when you have almost $40,000 in the fund and lights are only $20,000 a year. Uh, the other thing on the lights I see on the agenda this month, after <coughs> Marianne and I believe it was Dennis at the hearing for the street light district said there would be no new lights added this month there's on here consider resolution to place a new straight street light in joke beach area requested by constituent i'm not sure just where that's located does rachel know offhand where it's located it's supposed to be at the south end <coughs> requested five months ago the south end of joke beach mm -hmm. well marianne was at the zba hearing the other night joke beach is a private road it's a driveway it's not a it's not a public street, so we have no business placing public lights on private drives. I think that should be the end of that issue right there. Choke Street is public, isn't it? No, no. no it's a private road. It's like Long Point. I mean, it's like the, the end of Long Point where I live is all private. It's, it's a private road, and you, and you were at the, the meeting there and represented those people well in the time there. The appeal for his zoning variance. Uh, the other issue I have here is, uh, and you've all been copied this, and I mean, I don't think anybody's critical of like have to revise, do little revisions here on the on the budget or anything like that, because I mean that's all all of you trying to do your best job at something. And uh, but I've made repeated FOIA requests for things related to this construction project, which were never answered adequately, and it's a violation of Michigan FOIA law. And it's also a violation of, of Mullet Township's own FOIA policy, which we saw drafted as 20 pages. The board at that time approved it. And if, if the representative that has to do FOIA doesn't want to adhere to it, uh, I've always avoided going farther because a lot of times the same information I ask from this body, I can get with a phone call from some other body without even doing a FOIA. But what Tuscarora Township is doing now is because if we go to circuit court, we spend money and if the judge decides, okay, it's a valid uh, appeal and they process it, the fine that gets paid gets paid by us taxpayers. So it's sort of like, you know, cutting off your own foot to reach a point. But parties in Tuscarora Township have discovered another avenue, which is uh, a criminal investigation by the state police. And the state police are quite willing to investigate these criminal acts as criminal acts. So, uh, Carl, I mean, you and I have corresponded. Have you got now everything you need, or is there still no. something? No. Yeah. Nothing other than this drawing that you sent me. Okay. Nothing else has been. And I mean, we're still within that 10 day appeal period. Yeah. Yeah. Rachel, whatever he needs, we need to get to him. And I'm the not sure what the issue he, is. Okay, the prints that he wanted was the full streetscape 
plants. There are 14 C size prints. Could we just let him look at those? I mean, do you need to take them and someplace? He, weighed, he wanted, he ordered those. The worksheet was sent to him on time. He never replied. The worksheet was $63 and change. He never replied, so naturally. I have three outstanding FOIA requests that have never been picked up and never paid for. I don't have a problem with the two and three dollar stuff. I would just, <clears throat> if the board would let me, I'd just get rid of those. That's not a problem. But when we get into C size prints, which Wade Trim is going to charge us for. I did not order C size prints. I asked to view the prints That's under the, the FOIA law. That's the only thing I can give him. I don't you don't have, have any I yourself? I don't have anything online. But is there, is there a way that he could come in and view the prints in the oh, office? Sure. Oh, sure. Well, well, why see, don't we do situation. that? This is the situation. And the rest of the thing, the FOIA policy says that if the cost to provide the information is going to be more than $50, then she can charge a 50% deposit. But these little nickel and dime things, and I've heard this from other people that have asked a simple question of Rachel as FOIA coordinator, that a one or two page thing, they get billed with a worksheet sent out by mail for a dollar and a half or two dollars, which then has to be paid by a postal money order, which means you have to go to the post office and spend a dollar and a half for a postal money order. So it's just, the FOIA well, law is supposed to be. I, I got it. I, I think that Rachel just said, which we can talk about in a minute, but the, the, if we, if you could come in here tomorrow or the next day, whatever, and look at the prints. Well, it's really a moot point now. I know, I, mean, I know, I'm, but you, so that's not a, I mean, we'd still let, if you want to look at the prints, we don't have any problem with you no. looking at anything no. that we I want, have. I want to see the correspondence that went on within the within the Street Safety Committee. Yeah, I, I can't imagine why you couldn't see that either. And that was all emails for the most part that should right. have just been but, able but, to be forwarded to, to me at no that cost. to say that was not answered is not true. Okay. And it was not I answered don't within the policy. Out there. I don't want that out there. What was? The policy says that if I make a request for a FOIA, a FOIA request by email, it's supposed to be responded by email. Yeah, well, that not by, right. not well, by stamp. The preferred method in the policy is PO Box 328 by mail, and that's laid out in the policy. Okay. Well, I, I think this, you know, Carl, we want to be responsive to you and to everybody on FOIA requests. I understand that. And I think Rachel is trying to do a good job exactly whatever we have what yeah, we've given her to do. Yeah, I'm under that policy but until the board if, releases If this me. nickel dime thing mm -hmm. is a problem, it, which yeah, it sounds like it is to it you, is. why can't we change the policy? We can. We can change it. I would like to be able to say if it's a one or two page thing, I stick it in an envelope and away it goes with the proof of mailing which costs $1.30. I always have to have a proof of mailing just in case somebody doesn't get whatever it is I've sent out to them. What about emailing them, like like all the comments on, on the um, the emails? Well, Why I can't you just forward? I don't have a scanner. No, just forward him the on your email. Just forward him the comment. Don't like you save your do you save your comments? Um, no, I write them out. When we if we have we haven't had a committee meeting in since August. Okay. So, but even if we do have a committee meeting, those are not online. Those are in hard copy. Okay. And well, I don't have a scanner, so there's no way I can scan them and send them to email. Like if he wants a copy of whatever, I can stick it in an envelope and do it by mail. Yeah. So could we send him and finish this up? The uh, the copies of you still want the streetscape copies? Not the plans. I only no no. Asked. Do you want the the minutes of what she has for the meetings? Is that what you want? Yeah, the, yeah, the that's communications all, I asked for. There's only a couple pages item. with three or four words on each page. There was not any. Okay. Terrific minutes. Okay, well then let's send it to him I and can get send over. Those. And if then the board approves that, I can be. I'll be it happy to do shouldn't that. Shouldn't require a board approval. It's within no, the policy. No, you have to do that as part of the policy. No, I have to charge. That's part of the policy. No, it doesn't say that you even have to charge. It says you can charge. <laughs> well, excuse me. MacArthur wrote the policy. It was accepted by the board. I am following what the board accepted in that policy. Yeah. Now, if the board releases me from that policy, that's fine. I'll be happy to do it. Not why a problem. Why, it sounds to me like you 
it, it's a hassle for you to do it this is. too. So I'd much rather maybe do it my could, my my way, yeah. which is copy it, send it in an envelope, and be done with it. Well, why don't we do this, Rachel? I, it sounds like it would be better for everybody if the it policy would. was easier. So could we bring the policy to the next meeting, and yes. with your ideas about how you want to change yeah. it? Since Absolutely. you've been doing it for a while, I think it would be. I've been doing it since 11. Yeah. Well, it's, it's going to require a lot of revision, anyways, for that July 1st lawsuit. Yeah, I know. So She's probably already working on that, I assume. Well, I gave it to Tim. Oh, okay. Well, then let's ask Tim to have it for the next meeting and with the changes you want to add to it. And I think that may be a way to address this issue. Okay, thank you. And if I could just comment, because, you know, this sort of a. Uh, where you had to do some revision on the budget. Uh, honestly, I, other than your budgets, and I attended one annual budget meeting at Tuscarora. Tuscarora puts it up on a PowerPoint so the entire audience can see what's being done. I've attended Sheboygan County. Sheboygan County has it up on the screen. So, and with uh, uh, Carrie, I believe it is, that's the uh, treasurer up there, and they <laughs> discuss it in public, and people can all see what's being done. And the other thing is, I'm not sure where the discrepancy arises between townships, uh, Emmett County townships for the most part, and I think I've seen some in Otsego, they comply with the law because the law actually is written that your General Appropriations Act there, you, you develop a budget that determines what millage is going to have to be paid, right. and right. that's in the notice there of the millage that... If you're changing the millage, but... We're not we're not changing the millage at all. No, but you don't have that millage notice within your. You you notice. don't have to. Um, I, I've I've studied this thing inside now. I don't have to have that in within the notice unless there's a change to the millage. It doesn't have to be there. Isn't that right, Rachel? I, think, I don't know. You I, I well, think you normally state the millage that that you're working with under. I I just well, know basically what the law is. Yeah. Uh, I'll check that, but I, I did look at that millage early on. I guess it's a couple years ago now. I'll go back and read it, but I... Because like I say, I see all the budget hearing notices for yeah. Emma County, and they're all, they all list those different millages, like fire, yeah. police, things well, like that. Yeah, can do that. It's not a big deal. Okay, thank you. Yeah. I think from now on, when you have a project similar to this, if you have an engineering firm, has to be a digital copy, along with a hard copy. Oh, yeah, great. If somebody wants it, it's... Readily available and you can yeah. email. It, she yeah. had it. Yeah, we, we did she have that. She we had could. it as a PDF. Well, there's, there's no real reason for not giving it to somebody or charging them $63. I know. Yeah, I agree. Okay, anything else from the public? Okay, the public comments closed. Approval of the minutes of February 3rd. So moved. Uh, I've oh. got a typo. Okay. signature the signature line by consensus the following was uh, an A's missing and then further down that paragraph almost then instead of more it should be moved which one it should be moved because we're moving the May meeting to the 12th instead of more in it to move the May 5th, 2015 regular meeting to May 12th, 2015 because of the special election. It's just a typo. You get a typo in it. Well, you need to put a B there instead of an R and move instead of more. You don't see it? Um, Mine's right. Oh, ours are all wrong. Okay. <laughs> How about agree? Do you have agree there instead of agree? No. Was well, agreed to. E.D. Okay. You have an A. Okay, we didn't have the A. That's right. Oh, yeah. I, I corrected mine and probably didn't correct yours because this is the official copy. Okay. I probably didn't go back to the website. Yeah. Okay. Really you didn't go back to the website. Cause no, I did mine and I didn't do uh, yours. Okay. Is there a motion to accept the minutes? I'll make Treatment. a motion to accept the minutes with those corrections. Okay. Support? I support it. 
Any more discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. A motion to accept the February 9th, 2015 meeting minutes. Did I pass those out or not? I, don't think I, I haven't seen them. Oh, oh, oh the budget? budget? It's just a That was the budget. Oh. What does it say? Yeah. All department expenditures were discussed in detail. Each department will be funded for the coming fiscal year and department budget, which will be presented at the March 3rd, 2015 regular meeting of the Malt Township Board of Trustees at 7 p.m. A public hearing regarding the budget will be held at that time in the Malt Township Hall in Clapham Beach, Michigan. And the first paragraph is the same thing that's in the February 3rd. So it's just a paragraph describing that we met. Okay, is there a motion to accept the budget meeting minutes? I'll make that motion. Support? Support. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Motion carries. Okay, treasurer's report. Okay, treasurer's report as of February 28, 2015. Today's date is March 3, 2015. Uh, general accounts checking $38,546. Savings $48,630. Fire fund $320,305. Library fund $66,081. Light fund $32,397. Liquor fund $699. Uh, donations $1,508, tax account savings $462,991, checking $271,73, uh, investment accounts, securities $75,863, fire CDs $125,303, dedicated accounts, the old school health CD $137,330, uh, township parking lot savings, 36204 Hall renovation savings, 30955 Okay, let's put those into the minutes. Um, expense report for February 2015. Okay, it's very short. General fund, uh, 101, 13,244 The fire fund is $1,748.07. Liquor fund $86.12. The light fund was zero because I didn't get any bills and we're still working off the credit. The library fund was $2,968.15. Okay, put those into the minutes. Um, the fire reports. Are they going to do them? They're right in front of us, yep. Good. As far as training on us, uh, our first drill, we had a couple, we've got some for you guys. We just really broke down and did an inventory, showed down where everything was on all three apparatus. Um, good request for me. The, the next um, drill, we worked on SCBA downing and just kind of washed the apparatus. And then we also, well, both departments actually sent personnel and two apparatus over to the UAW Center. Um, this year, the Great Lakes. They had this great late bird camp. So, I don't know how many. That's a 50, 50 or 54 kids in there. Uh, wow. Between 7 and 18, and uh, they were, I had, I give, you give kids rides just around the, around the complex, we didn't have on the road. And I had some girls with me, and they, they were like,